In the previous video we saw how images can be significantly improved using Photoshop just by looking at the histogram and adjusting the levels, but also by cropping in and thinking about composition. When shooting my images I try very hard to get the image right in camera at the point of exposure and try to minimise the amount of fixing later on. In my first video in this series I mentioned four ingredients that I think are essential to shooting great images. Firstly the subject, secondly the lighting, thirdly how you choose to expose the image with combination of ISO, shutter speed and aperture, and lastly the composition. But I must admit though, post-production could well be a fifth ingredient, and it is an extremely creative and enjoyable part of photography, and actually a whole skill in itself. There really are hundreds of post-processing techniques that you can use to enhance your images in software packages such as Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, and in this short video I'm not going to tell you all about them, but just rather whet your appetite. Here are three top techniques I consider using. Firstly, I try to clean up my images using Photoshop to remove unwanted distractions, blemishes and wrinkles using the clone and healing tools. For this shot, I then went on to add a touch of lens flare and then adjusted the levels to add a bit of punch. Here are two further examples where I've removed distractions from the shot. Secondly, I consider desaturating my images by removing colour itself as a distraction to generate a black and white image. One thing to consider is playing with the red, green and blue channels to create an even more dramatic black and white shot. And playing with the contrast itself can also have a profound effect. In this image I've selected a coloured part of the image and after processing the image to black and white I've then gone on to pop in a selective area of colour using layers. And lastly I consider the use of one or many of the filters in Photoshop. In this image I've used a combination of layers and masking techniques to selectively add some motion blur to the shot. Of course, this quick video is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to enhancing images in post-production, and hopefully it will stimulate you to go on and have some of your own thoughts around what you can use to make your images more creative. I actually use YouTube as a valuable internet resource to find out more, and there really are many fantastic videos describing in detail how these techniques can be achieved. 